Who's in the DC TV watchdog doghouse? WDIV defender Hank Winchester. Here's a perfect example of the problem what is wrong with corporate media today. Simply put, corporate media sucks and it's growing tiresome. The networks wonder why they are being despised by people around the local area and nationally, why there is such a distrust of media. Though you may not agree with politics, I may not like the people in this video. Is this really journalism? Is this really news? What is the point of this? Uh, he certainly is, Ruth. And, you know, this video that he's posted on his website has a lot of people talking. First of all, props to Charles Pugh. He lost 55 pounds. I have trouble dropping five. But there are people who say, why are you posting this video right now? Why are you taking your shirt off and broadcasting it? And shouldn't you be focusing on the city's money troubles? The city of Detroit is in a financial mess, but one thing that's in tip-top shape, Council President Charles Pugh. In fact, he's showing off his new buff bod online. Take a look at those abs. So I have, I have a six-pack. Pugh posted this video on his website. As soft jazz music plays in the background, he reveals his 55-pound weight loss and much more. The council president says the video is meant to inspire Detroiters. Pugh himself seemed a little ticked off when I asked him about videotaping himself as he was working out with a personal trainer in a Birmingham gym, while so many city employees care only about one thing, keeping their jobs. Obesity is a problem in this city. I'm not denying that. It is. <laughs> so, so then what's the problem? I think people just question the timing of what the video. People? Do well, we were just down on the street. We talked to dozens of Detroiters. We showed them the video. They said, mm -hmm. why put this video out right now? They'd rather you see could, you do right. a video on A, B, and C. Right. Why take they, the shirt off in the they, video? Right. Why they, play the jazz music? Right. I mean, I'm right. just telling you what the people are telling me. Right. Listen, guess what? There's always something to criticize. You know, there's going to be people my, who are going to, you know, there's people who are going to say the listen, video is ridiculous. I know what they bullshit. say, and I don't care about those people because obesity is a problem in Detroit. Back out here live, and, and nobody will argue that it is. The video itself lasts about three minutes, and yes, there are moments when Charles Pugh takes his shirt off, revealing either a six-pack or an eight-pack, as he says. But he does also offer diet tips, uh, eating tips for Metro Detroiters. He really says his goal is to help people get in better shape. But live here tonight, Hank Winchester. The question has been raised, who exactly are you defending? She had hoped to become rock radio royalty. I want to be the next with rock girl because I think I provide a full package. But now this wanted woman is out of the running and could be headed to jail. So you're not aware that there's two bench warrants out for your arrest right now? No, well, I was aware when I was called by Riff this morning. Hmm, well, she's very proud. She's made it to the final eight of the Riff rock girl voting. But that kind of exposure comes with a price if there's a warrant out for your arrest. Local Ford defender Hank Winchester is live with the story of Johnny Ray and her run from the law. Hank? Steve, good evening. This is Johnny Ray right here. And as you said, she's made it to the final eight of this competition, hoping to become a Riff Rock radio girl. She failed to tell the good people at Riff, though, a little important information. She has a criminal past. She's wanted by the police. And she could end up right here in jail. Hi, I'm Johnny Ray. I'm 25 and I'm from Wolverine Lake. Johnny Ray Coot is doing whatever it takes to get your attention and your vote. She's online, on postcards. She's putting herself out there, hoping to become the new Riff Rock Girl. I want to be the next Riff Rock Girl because I think I provide a full package. I am spontaneous. I'm fun. And there's one more thing you should know about Johnny Ray. She has a criminal record and she's wanted by the law. The defenders discovered Johnny Ray is a wanted woman. Here's her mugshot. She was busted in 2008 for open intox, but never appeared in court. In 2009, a drunk driving charge, but again, a no-show in court, violating probation. Now there are two bench warrants for her arrest. And if the police work to track her down, and clearly she's not hiding, she could end up in jail. Here's legal expert Todd Flood. If you're trying to abscond, but yet you're putting yourself out into the public figure, you know you're going to get caught. Johnny Ray wouldn't answer the door when I showed up at her home. Moments later, she sped off in a truck. She circled back, though, to talk radio and running from the law. 
Okay. Congrats on the top eight, but did you tell anybody that you were wanted by the law? Um, no, I did not. I didn't even really know that I had that many things going on. I had a You didn't know the police were DUI. looking for you? Two bench warrants? No, I had a DUI when I was 22 years old. First I, I don't just think they wanted to years, win the Riff Rock Girl contest. But did I you want to do your time in jail or no? Or face your charges? Oh, absolutely. She'll I know you wanted to win here. the contest, but you know you're facing some charges here. Obviously, I am. Back out here live, and the bottom line is if you don't show up for court dates, if you don't serve out the full term of your probation, you could face time in jail. And that is the situation now with Johnny Ray. She says she's going to contact police in Novi and also in Farmington Hills. Uh, the people at RIF had no idea that this woman was wanted by police, and the company that owns RIF has put out a statement. I want to share that with you. It reads All contestants are subject to a criminal background check before the four finalists are selected. Until now, the state was unaware that this contestant had outstanding warrants for her arrest. Due to this new information, the individual has been disqualified. We're live here in Pontiac, Hank Winchester. The reasoning or decisions made to report, produce, and air content in these reports is extremely flawed, more important, disturbing. Is this the state of corporate media today? Is this the state of corporate media in our area? A better story in all this probably would have been a one of a out-of-state corporate media entity that owns radio stations that lay people off, double up the workload for the people that they keep on board, and pay them the same amount. Or what about a newspaper entity that's out of state that owns a broadcast media entity? that's letting that broadcast media entity go right into bankruptcy. Those would probably be better serving stories. For those who work in the corporate media, and for Hank Winchester who reports these stories for the corporate media, the question is asked, who actually are you defending? 